No, hold on. This is Five Minutes Funnier. Hi, I'm Jimmy England for Five Minutes Funnier, the comedy how-to. My battery is low. I got to do this. It's the fifth take. I want to get it off. I want to get it off my chest. I was in a writing workshop with some other comedians, and somebody did a joke, and one of the purse people who were in the uh, doing the criticism said, "Well, I wouldn't do a joke. Like, I don't think that joke's terribly funny. I wouldn't do it in a five to minute, five to seven minute set, but I would do it in a headline set." The idea that somehow you can go up there with material that is second rate or third rate, no. But there are people out there apparently that think being on stage is the be all and end all. Quality, quality is not important. That somehow that's an afterthought. And I don't think that should ever be the case. We use open mics, we use free venues where people are not paying for the show to develop our material. But when we go in front of a live audience who's paid good money, they don't deserve our second best. They deserve our best. There is a crying need for people who have not done comedy in the past. People who are not old white guys like me. And quite frankly, I have no problem with that. Women, LGBTQ, visible, non-visible minorities, anybody who has been underrepresented in comedy deserves a place on that stage. But you have to earn that place first. You do not begin as a headliner. You begin finding five minutes of tight, funny material. And that can take a while. It actually took me two years to get to the point and realize this is what I have to do, but I've got some good material now. Let's do it. Five minutes, and I've been building on it ever since. Now, you can get away right now if you are one of those underrepresented minorities that haven't been on stage because there is a desperate need for those people, like I said. But what is happening is sometimes they're going up there prematurely. I'm not saying you can't be on that stage, but I'm going to say, for God's sake, make sure that you know your act cold. Make sure that it's laugh after laugh after laugh. If you're going 30, 40, 50, a minute or longer between laughs, and the laugh that you get is not big, you are not ready for that stage. Get out there, learn your craft. The thing of it is, I'm not suggesting you're gonna spend 10 years in order to develop a, an act that you can put on stage as a headliner, but you should be pretty damn good when that opportunity comes around. Because what's gonna happen is you're gonna assume that you are good enough because they put you on as a headliner and you can get away in smaller venues, places that are at the lower tier of comedy. But if that's the standard that you're aiming for, and this is something I've, I seem to say this a lot with every episode, you really need to aim higher. Aiming higher means being able to have a killer 40, 50, 60 minute set. When you get called on to use it, you're going to impress and somebody further up the food chain is gonna say, hey, let's bring them up. They're good. They're female, they're gay, they're lesbian, they're whatever, but they're hilarious. The audience loves them. They're going to bring people into our, into our venue, and it's going to be great. I finished that video, and then I realized I might be leaving you with the impression that I was talking exclusively about people who are underrepresented in comedy as having to be funnier than they are. That was never my intention. As I said in the very first episode of this podcast, or rather of this YouTube video series, that I want all of us to be funnier. It doesn't matter who you are, whether you're a part of the mainstream of comedy or whether you're somebody who's trying to break into it. Being your best is pivotal to success. So please, get out there and do your best. Don't forget to subscribe and hit like. It really does help us. Meantime, stay funny, everybody.